you know, my grandmother used to tell me, she was actually the one that came up with the phrase, you know, you're gonna have to be the voice for the voiceless because there's gonna be some out there that are gonna be able to do what you do. And there are gonna be some out there that aren't gonna have that ability. When I first learned about my disability of having fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, um, I started listening to all these doctors talk about how how the bad sides more than the good sides, you know, which is basically saying that every person with FASD acts a certain way or acts, you know, and that's pretty much how I kind of seen growing up, you know, the best way that I've learned how to communicate with people is talking your language, but also talking their language, because if you got your language and their language, they're more apt to listen to you, versus if you have their language, they're gonna be like, well, I don't, I don't get what you mean, you know learning how to talk county language, learning how to talk state language, and learning how to talk hunter language, and how to combine that in one, because if you don't learn those three things, and it, nobody's gonna listen to you, and, and, uh, and nobody's gonna take you seriously. You know, I've always wanted to be a cop, but I know because of my eyes and my hearing that, that, that that's not a possibility. However, um, my dream someday is to be like an advocate for people with disabilities because not a lot of law enforcement officers are trained on how to handle people with disabilities. Someday we'll, both, we'll all be talking the same language. We won't have to work so hard to learn 20 different languages. Um, but you know, um, and that someday will happen. It might not happen when I'm around, but it'll happen. <laughs>